Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 17th June 2022, China has launched its massive third aircraft carrier called Type 003 or Fujian. It's a super carrier with a displacement of nearly 80,000 tons. The aircraft carrier has even commenced its sea trials last week. Now what makes the aircraft carrier special is that it uses an integrated electric propulsion and electromagnetic catapults whereas the previous Chinese aircraft carriers were conventionally powered and launched aircraft using ski jumps. It is the first aircraft carrier to use a catobar system and electromagnetic catapults as well as the first super carrier which is built outside the United States. While all sounds rosy, the Navy does not have enough experienced fighter pilots to operate from the deck of its newly launched Katobar aircraft carrier. It is struggling to meet the increased demand for naval aviators to operate the J-15 fighter jets from the deck of the aircraft carrier. The major challenge before the Navy is a lack of fighter trainers designed for the carrier-based operations. It needs a fighter jet similar to LCA Navy to train its pilot, but Plan or Pila Navy pilots uses Chinese-made JL-9G, a single-engine twin-seater aircraft. It is a modified version of Chinese MiG-21 variant known as J-7. JL-9G has challenges in simulating emergency landings on a flight deck because of many flaws in the aircraft, some of which are its lightweight and slow speed. The aircraft has a gross weight of 7.9 tons and powered by an engine capable of generating maximum thrust of just 63.25 kN with afterburner. The China's only shipborne fighter jet, the twin-engine single-seat J-15 Flying Shark, has been dubbed the world's heaviest carrier-borne fighter as it weighs 17.5 tons. The Chinese pilot cadets carrier-based training program entirely relies on flying J-15. The problem with the fighter jet is that it's a single-seater jet and does not have flying instructor at the back of the seat. Operating a fighter jet from an aircraft carrier itself is a big challenge and requires lots of practice. If trainees have to operate the aircraft from a carrier without flying instructor, it increases the risk of accidents. There have been two reported incidents of J-15 fighters crash in April 2016, which led to one death and one serious injury. Further, Katobar system, which is completely new to PLA Navy, has further increased the challenges for its naval aviators. It will take some time before even its experienced fighter pilots will master the new aircraft launch and recovery system. China, which is having the biggest maritime force on the globe at present, with an inventory of nearly 355 vessels and is slated to expand its inventory to 420 ships within the next four years. It is rapidly modernizing its navy, almost launching a battleship every month or two. Beijing has planned to have 10 aircraft carriers by 2050. As of 2022, Pila Navy has two combat-ready aircraft carriers with Fujian undergoing trial. China will have five or six aircraft carriers by 2030. But an aircraft carrier without skilled pilots will seriously undermine the capability of Pila Navy which China will have to look into. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.